Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. We dropped everybody off at school about 35 minutes ago. Della over here woke up at, well, she went to bed last night at, I don't even know, 6.15, 6.30 ish, and came trotting down the steps at like 6.04. And I was like, good morning. Hi. So, we'll see how well she does today. But our game plan, it's Wednesday. I'm off work. We will um, go to the gas station because I didn't do that yesterday because I had issues getting to the gas pump. The first place that I went to, which was Kroger, half of the pumps had bags over the handle, so I knew that the pumps were shut off. And then the second place had a Budweiser truck kind of blocking how you would get in. And I'm like, I'm not even going to deal with that. And then other than that, I just have some things to order from Kroger for Friday. Friday I'm having family over to carve pumpkins. These pumpkins that we got the other day at the orchard place. And I guess we'll just clean up and get ready for Halloween. I need to also look up what I'm getting Jet for his birthday. And that's about it. But I wanted to keep you on the loop. I'm putting a vlog up. Probably will be up by 8.30ish, but I'll be back. I just put dinner in my slow cooker. For this recipe, it is a slow cooker chicken Philly cheesesteaks. You need chicken, garlic, half of an onion, two bell peppers, and a packet of the zesty Italian seasoning and I'll let you guys know if it's good but this is just going to cook on low for six hours and then you serve it um, on a hoagie bun that you can broil in the oven if you like them crispy if not you can just serve it regularly and provolone cheese on top we're eventually going to get ready it's 9 48 I don't know where the morning went and we've just got stuff and chaos everywhere but it's fine I'm spending the morning or have spent the morning looking on Wayfair because it's way day and I I got my trusted tape measure out. I've been in, obviously, you guys are like, okay, you're losing your mind. I've been uh, thinking about how I can make the house more my mine. Um, number one, this couch has never been my favorite. I think I've talked about this in previous vlogs. It was in our old basement. It's old. It's ripping at the seams, like literally ripping at the seams. And it's too big for this room, which is why I put a chair over here for blue. And I've also noticed that the space is not utilized as much as it should be. It should be like an inviting. And I feel like when you walk in and you're greeted with the back of a sectional and you have to like walk around, it's just not, there's no straight shot to sit down. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? So, I've been looking on Wayfair to see, okay, how can I make this um, comfier, friendlier, more inviting to sit in? I mean, obviously get rid of the toys and clutter, but obviously we also need some of that. I don't think the diner will stay here. I'll move that back downstairs. Oh. Harley, she loves you. So anyway, so my thought was, is we would get a deep couch not a sectional just a deep comfy couch and my other thought was to put a deep comfy couch over here christmas tree in that corner but one that i needed it to be like 85 inches because of the size of the room i wanted it to be inviting enough that we'd make it back to the christmas tree but also like come around it this is so sad so i'm like planning my living room around christmas one and I'm planning my couch purchase. I wanted one that was low enough. So blue is about to be seven. Let's be honest, Great Danes don't live that long. And it's always in the back of my head. That's why I hug him so much, like every day. What? So my thought also was, can I find a couch that is a tad bit lower to the ground? So when he does get older, he still can hop up on the couch. And I found one. I found the perfect couch. I also found two chairs. So my thought was couch, couch, and then like two chairs as like an offset sitting. So you look 
not at the back of a couch, but potentially at two chairs, but I don't know if that will fit in here. So I'm kind of just feeling it out. That rocking chair will end up being moved. If I do get new comfy chairs, I can sit and drink coffee in. That rocking chair will be moved up to my bedroom. But that is my thought on this. But I'm trying to make some decisions. Why I've, I've added things to my cart and slept on it to try to decide if it is what I want. So I have things in my cart. I'll just why don't I just show you? what I'm talking about and you guys can say I think you're gonna like that so the other part of the couch of the sectional is Blue's chair we've talked about this that was a part that just didn't fit in the living room so I moved it out here so this room has never really been done I was gonna make it a conversation room or potentially put a desk but I don't really need a desk so I thought we would just upgrade his chair I really liked that one. I know that it's uh, upholstered like light brown leather, which is not great for like dogs' nails, but I would cover it with a blanket anyway for him. But I like the way that looks because I feel like once I take the blanket off and like people come over, I will like. I like it. I will like that. I like this too. Well, hold on. Let me show them the rest of it. I really liked this couch. See how like deep it is? And then I really liked these two chairs. I like to see it. So off of camera, I took all of my chairs and put them up because I want to sweep them up. I'm not going to do that until we get home from school pickup. I'm running a load of dishes. I have a load of laundry in the washer. I still have some straggle cups behind me that will have to be put in after that load is done. I made all the beds upstairs and now it's what, like one... 108. I know that I have to get gas in my car before I go to school pickup. And I know that I'm picking up two of my kids, right? Does she have theater? I don't think so. No, she's got a Thursday. Went, yeah, Thursday. And then Sienna has theater, so I don't pick her up until four. And then we've got volleyball. Also, just thinking about all the things that we need to get ready for the holidays. I kind of want to be done, like, soon, sooner than later. Uh, so once once Halloween rolls around, I'll really spend a good, and the vlogs are done, I'll spend a good week getting advent calendars, my Christmas candle, Christmas ornaments, because if you guys remember this, you might not remember this, or do you remember this, that I vlog this? I can't remember if my Christmas trees have been after or before the vlogs. Anyway, 98% of the ornaments that have been on my tree are all Cody's like childhood ornaments. So I need some ornaments, but I also love a ornament tree, which I think will be in the basement full of like all of my kids like handmade ornaments. I love that. But I think my living room tree is going to be how I've always wanted it, which is like, you know, cohesive ornament, ornaments that match not just hodgepodge ornaments even though i do like christmas trees when i see them and they're all nostalgic and you can like go through memory lane i do like that i don't know we'll see when the time comes what i'm gonna do but that's already on my mind i know i need to just take one holiday at a time but like i can't i can't do it oh and i need to figure out what i'm getting jet for his birthday that really should be forefront because his birthday is in a couple days. That should be forefront on it. I did tell my kids if they wanted to get haircuts, I would take them today. If they didn't want to get haircuts and they wanted to go to the Halloween store, I would take them there. Or if they wanted to find their Halloween outfits because everybody's kind of changed their mind on what they would do. Jets needs to be returned because it wouldn't inflate. But if they can't find it on Amazon, then we are definitely going to hit up the Halloween store. All right, let's go get gas and pick two out of the three up. Let's go right foot, two steps. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Crisscross. Chow, chow, real smooth. I'm going to try dinner before everybody else. I could put the provolone on and put it back in the oven and melt the cheese, which I may put it in the microwave and melt the cheese. I don't know. I'm going to see how I'm how I feel it out, but that's done. And then I put a bun in the oven. That's just an extra one to get it kind of crispy. It's very good. 
very good and i like that it's chicken because i feel like chicken is a lot less expensive than than other meat The day is finally catching up with me. I am so sleepy. So sleepy. I uh, couldn't fall asleep last night. You know I've been having sleeping issues. I think I've, I've talked about this. Couldn't fall asleep at all. Waited and waited and waited to fall asleep. I don't really even know what time I fell asleep at. But Blue came in and stood over top of me. And usually when he... He'll check on me at like 2 a.m. He'll check on me throughout the night, but if he's not sleeping right next to me at 2 a.m. Because if the kids are here, hold on, he's about to text me. All right, get him back inside. They're pressure washing my neighbor's house. Anyway, no idea what time I fell asleep. Blue came in at 2, stood over top of me. Usually he'll check and then he'll go back to sleep, but this time he just stood over top of me, which means he has to go out. So I got up, let him out, and then came back and try to fall back asleep. I think that took a good like 30 minutes to an hour. I don't even know how long. And then I woke up at four, woke up at 5.30 to my alarm and finally got up at like 5.55. And Mandela came down the steps at like six something, like a two or a four. So she was up and at it because she fell asleep really early yesterday. So yeah, I just feel off like sleepy sleepy off and then we hit the leave in like an hour and 20 you know an hour and 30 minutes to go take Skylar to volleyball and then pick her up at 7 30 and then call it a night i do need to finish reading jet's book with him and check everybody's homework I forget what else. So pack lunches and set the coffee. But I will not, like I cannot wait until it's like nine. Oh, he's barking at me again. All right, I'll be back. We did volleyball drop off and pick up. Got into my pajamas. She got into her pajamas. She's gonna get in pajamas next. I'm also gonna wake them up in the morning to shower. So we're just gonna wrap it up. It's been one of those days. I'm hoping that I can sleep good tonight. Fingers crossed. All right. Good night, everybody.